the Silly Isles Nemesis Chase is next. We've only got four in this. Uh, one or two small fields in the novice races this week. And let's hope we have some decent jumping, otherwise we could be in trouble. Two and a half miles grade one this. And William the Conqueror at the top for Leon Van Rensburg. Ozark Slipper for Vinnie Gerard. Rooting for you, David Hooley. And the long pause Joshua Sutherland. So our fifth place prize money in a grade one. It's gone begging because nobody's entered it. But, uh, I think there were quite a few opportunities for novices this week. And the four of them called in then and away in the rain. A short run to the first, which fortunately they've all got over. And let's hope that happens over the next 15 of them as well. Otherwise it could get quite dull this as they make their way to the second. And it's three in a line at the moment. With rooting for you, Ozark Slipper and William the Conqueror. And the long pause just tucked in behind as they get over number two. And they're all safely over that. And it's a short one, two to the third. And they're all safely over that one as well. These are the railway fences, of course, and they're all safely over them. Well, the rooting for you is a bit slow. I'll take this turn then now and then make their way down towards the pond fence. Ozark Slipper is the leader from the Long Paws and then William the Conqueror and rooting for you tucked in behind them in fourth and Indian file now as they come to the pond and all safely over that one and they swing towards the straight and they should Take an open ditch and a plain fence, or a plain fence and an open ditch. Two sort of double fences if we've got the course right. As we go over the plain one, it looks like the long pause is going to be the leader. This is a ditch which will be the last next time. It shouldn't be really. That should be a double fence with a ditch on one side and a plain fence on the other. We jump the plain one to the last fence and the ditch every other time. Obviously this is not the upgraded course that the grey made. They passed the winning post in with a, with a circuit to go. And a long pause on the outside of Ozark Slipper. There. A good four clear. Oh, William the Conqueror. And finally rooting for you at the back. So the long pause. Well, aptly named for a race of this distance with just four runners there will be quite a few long pauses throughout the commentary with Ozark Slipper second gap of five lengths then to William the Conqueror uh, rooting for you so far they've all jumped okay he's made a mistake yet rooting for you was a little bit slow over a couple of them but that's about all and the long pause on the outside of Ozark Slipper Gap to William the Conqueror and finally rooting for you. Look at that one, they go. Good job there by William the Conqueror. Oh, and Ozark Slipper's gone. So Ozark Slipper's crashed out there. The first one to make a serious mistake and pay the ultimate price as well. It's out of it as they take this ditch. And over that one, the long pause was clearing the lead. They raced down towards the railways. And the long pause from William the Conqueror. And then rooting for you, just the three left in it then now. With five more to take. These three come up pretty quick, of course. One after the other. Bish, bash, bosh. And over that one they go. They're all over the three of them. And now they'll race towards the pond and then the final two. But it's the long pause in the lead from William the Conqueror second. Rooting for you third. Feel much closer to each other there, but the long pause just been pushed along to lengthen that lead again. On back three, clear. William the Conqueror in second, rooting for you. He's in third. Jockey doesn't seem to be too concerned about how far behind he is from the leader, though. With three furlongs to go, a 
and just the two fences to take. That's the second last, and over that one they go. That was the Ponsory. They've still got two more to take, and it's the Willie. It's the, <laughs> the long pause in the lead. Ron William the Conqueror second, rooting for his back in third as they race towards the final two fences in this now. Then and it's all peel all the way home over the second last. They go, and he nearly went the long pause. He nearly dove at that one, and he's, he's uh, two lengths clear still from William the Conqueror in second. Over the final fence they go, and the long pause got over it nicely that time, and he's now pulling away from William the Conqueror and inside the final half furlong it's going to be the long pause that's going to take this one and up towards the line the long pause takes it from William the Conqueror second and rooting for you back in third so pretty easy group one win there for Joshua Sutherland that was like Slipper the only one that didn't finish and just that one mistake towards the end and the long pause takes it for Joshua Sutherland and then William the Conqueror second for Leon van Rensburg rooting for you David Hooley was third and Ozark slipper for Vinnie Gerrard was the one that didn't get round.